Hey, did you guys hear about the penny shortage? Penny shortage. Penny shortage, not panty shortage. So they, they short the pennies? Did you hear about it? I heard well, something about it. Penny Marshall got shorted somewhere, right? Penny Marshall. Yes. Did, did you know you can take a steel The washer. Penny Marshall. You can take a steel You got washer. that. The Penny Marshall. You put a steel We're washer. We're going to have to have a Penny Marshall. Penny and shoot right. out a rail gun. Laverne right. DeFazio. That's the Penny Marshall? With penny CO2, Marshall. you can shoot a penny through a... What have you heard about no, the penny shortage? Sense. There's well, literally there's a penny no penny. See, nobody, nobody hangs on to pennies, right? Nobody thinks pennies are important. And they're worth more. So, yeah, but uh, pennies have copper in them, and copper is valuable. Why Why is copper Zinc is valuable? Zinc is valuable. Why is copper valuable? Well, copper has always it's been in valuable. Industry. It's, yes, it's useful in industry, and it's useful for its electrical properties. And, so, uh, I think they make bullets or something. You, know. you can. You can copper jacket a bullet. So did you hear anything about some guy called the Penny King who's been traveling up and down the West Coast for 30 years? I heard something about the Panty Bandit who's been doing that. Really? By the way, did you Penny realize King. that if you take colloidal zinc, the amount of zinc just in a zinc copper penny, do you know how many hundreds of gallons you can use to create colloidal zinc? Think about that. What about you, a sir? Penny. What do you know about the Penny King? I've never made gold out of a penny yet. I mean, uh, Penny King, uh, zinc, uh, you know, you never know. What's the current value of an ounce of gold? Uh, Last I checked, it's about 1400 No, it's up at uh, 16 no. something now right now. Now, George Soros, George Soros, who <coughs> runs a, fan, a fund called the Quantum Fund, and if you'd invested... A thousand dollars with him in 1967 when he started the fund, he'd you'd now have four million dollars. Yeah. Now, does that give you an indication of how much inflation has occurred in how many years? So the value of that stock is all due to inflation, you say? Yeah. Just inflation? Don't you think? Just inflation. There's nothing just about inflation. It robs you, doesn't it? What could you buy for a penny a hundred years ago? Professor Gizmo. I'd probably buy like at least a couple bullets. There you go. How much does a bullet cost today? Uh, probably a dollar. And how much is your life worth? Two and a half dollars. Uh, well, you know, hopefully more than a dollar or two. two okay. Piece. How much is yours worth? My life is, uh, <coughs> depends on how you look at it. It's either priceless or it's worth less than dirt. Okay, and what about you, sir? How much is your bullets. life worth? I don't need bullets. But how much is your life worth? Well, a couple of few galaxies or one. Okay. So what if I told you your life is priceless and you can't take people and brainwash them to go fight wars to kill others when they don't agree with your money system? Ooh, now, very interesting. I like the fact that you bring up the green the money system. Uh, so the next yeah, question the is... If somebody were to buy up all the pennies in Seattle for ten dollars each, what would happen to the ninety-nine percent versus the one percent? The ninety-nine percent of who? Of what? Yeah. Of Seattle. Or? You mean what would happen to the ninety-nine percent who no longer have pennies with which to trade? Yeah. Well, they'd be stuck using all the other stuff, which is an even shorter supply. Okay. So, what creates the shortage of supply? Is it demand or price? The demand of the price. What creates the shortage of supply is whoever is in charge of the supply. Okay, it's and who currently is in charge of the supply of copper on this planet? The Rothschilds. Are you sure about that? Uh, there, yeah. What the if I What if I told you that the Penny King was the world's first trillionaire and he bought up all the you copper know, on the planet? If you could tell me who the heck this, this, this guy is, I would love to marry his offspring. Really? Why? Because he's got all the copper, and I like copper. <laughs> now we're off in the moonbeams. This is Alex Escobar having an informal conversation with Will P. Wilson, Professor Gizmo, and Mr. Erberberberberber in Seattle on May 9th, 2013.